Hello everyone. In this video, we're going to be solving a problem from Amy 1986. Amy is the American Invitational Math Exam. And in order to qualify for Amy, you have to pass AMC 10 or AMC 12. It is a three hour test with 15 questions. It's very intense and the questions have answers an integer zero through 999. Anyways, this is a difficult test, but this problem is fairly manageable. That's why I picked it. Great, so let's go ahead and take a look. Now, if you have a system of equations, and it kind of looks intimidating because there are five variables. And in the original problem, they used x sub 1, x sub 2, but I just don't like subscripts, and that's why I wanted to use x, y, z, W and U. I know it, they're not in alphabetical order. If you have OCD, I'm sorry about that, but that's what it is. So we have this type of equation, and notice that the twos are kind of nicely diagonally aligned. Hopefully you've seen that. And we kind of have like multiples of six sort of on the right hand side. Uh, they're also kind of uh, in a nice pattern. Anyways, Without further ado, let's get started. But how many methods am I going to present? I'll be introducing two methods. Maybe you'll find a third one. Anyways, let's start with the first method. The first method involves something, something that we often use with systems. And why did I erase that? Because I do need room. So. Here's what I'm going to do. I'm going to add up all the equations. That's something we commonly use with systems, right? Great. Even with a system like this. Because what happens is every equation has one of the variables two times and everything else is one time. So that's kind of symmetrical, sort of nice. When we add these all up, we're going to be getting, let's see, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 6x plus 6y plus 6z plus 6w plus 6u. 2u, okay, the last equation has 2u in it. Okay, I'm going to add these numbers up. What is that sum equal to, right? So I kind of get like 18 and then 70, mm, 18, 42, and then their sum is 90 and 186. Okay, great. I think that's the sum is 186. And it's divisible by 6. Yay, that's cool. So if you divide both sides by 6, you get something real cool. x plus y plus z plus w plus u. And that is equal to 31. One less than a power of two, but that's not significant. Anyways, so how does that help us? Well, take a look at the first equation. And by the way, did I number the equations? I didn't. Let me go ahead and number them. This is number one. This is number two. This is number three. This is number four. And as you guess, this is number five. So, and you can call this number six if you want. Doesn't really matter. Uh, it's kind of makes it easier to refer to. So, if I subtract the sixth equation from the first one. So do subtract one minus six. What happens? Yes, that is correct. I get x. Why? Because I have two x plus y plus z plus w plus u. And then from that, I'm subtracting x plus y plus z plus w plus u. So everything is once uh, x is doubled. So, you know, things are going to cancel out and we're going to end up with x. And x is going to be equal to the difference of 1 and 6. So 1 minus 6 gives us x equals 1 minus, um, let me see. Okay, 1 minus 6 gives us x equals negative 25, right? Okay, great. So x is equal to negative 25. It's not something that I expected. I was hoping to get some positive solutions, but I guess it's not going to work. Anyways, so we got it. So now let's go ahead and do uh, 2 minus 6. If you do 2 minus 6, well, we're going to be getting 12 minus 31, and that difference should give us y. So it looks like, is everything negative here? Well, it shouldn't be happening, right? So from here, we get y equals 12 minus 31, and that's going to be negative 19. Great. Okay. Let's go ahead and look at 3 minus 6. Hopefully, this problem will be fixed soon. 3 minus 6 is going to be 24 minus 31, and notice that 3 minus 6 is going to give us what? Since z is doubled, and that's going to give us z, obviously. So you kind of guess the pattern, hopefully. z is going to be 24 minus 31, which is negative 7. Great. So if you do 4 minus 6, 4 minus 6, let's take a look. We have 2w 
and we have the W. If you subtract these two things, they're going to end up with W, and that's going to equal, oopsies, I'm looking at the wrong equation. That's already Z. It's this one, I mean. 48 minus 31, yay, that's going to be 17. So W is going to be 17 from here, right? If you subtract number 4 minus 6. Okay, great. Let's go ahead and do 5 minus 6, and that should finalize the problem, the first method at least. Uh, if you subtract 5 minus 6, 2u minus 2u, okay, happy birthday, 2u minus u is going to become a u, and u is going to be 65. One more than a multiple of, or a power of 2, that's probably significant, but anyways. So those are going to be the values, right? X, Y, Z. Let's go ahead and talk about the second method, my second method. Okay. The second method involves basically the following. We can directly subtract these equations. So for example, if you subtract 2 minus 1, instead of just going back and forth, can I just write it? I hope you don't mind. So if you subtract 2 minus 1, obviously 2 was the one with the 2y, and the one with the one with the 2x. So when you subtract them, let me just show one of them here. Maybe just for this one. This is the first one, and the second equation has 2, two y in it. So when we subtract one, um, the other way around, okay. 2 minus 1, I want to get a positive answer. I'm getting y minus x. Oopsies. y minus x is going to give us 6. From here, we can write y as x plus 6. And then we can do the uh, 3 minus 1, same way. That's going to give us z minus x equals 18. And from here, I can write z equals x plus 18. I'm not repeating all the steps because you already know how this works. And then if you subtract 4 minus 1, uh, then you're going to be getting, guess what? We're going to be getting w minus x, and that is going to equal 42. Notice that every time I'm getting like a positive answer, which is kind of cool. And then finally, 5 minus 1 should give us w, I mean u, u minus x, and that should equal 90, because notice that 5 minus 1 is 96 minus 6, and that basically gives us, you know, u minus x. Okay, great. Uh, u minus x is 90, so from here we get u equals x plus 90. So I got these four equations. I was able to write uh, all of the variables in terms of x, which is cool, because now I can use the first equation. Let's go ahead and use it and then finish this up. So I have 2x plus y plus z plus w plus u equals 6. Remember, this is my first equation. And now I'm going to replace everything with what it is. y is going to be x plus 6. z is going to be x plus 18. w is going to be x plus 42. And u is going to be x plus 90. And all of this is going to equal... 6. Let's go ahead and add these up, and we're going to be getting something similar. This is going to be 6x, and the sum here is going to become, you know, 6 plus 18, which is 24, and 24 plus 42 is going to be 66, and 66 plus um, 90 is going to be 156, and if you subtract 6 minus 156, you're going to get negative 150, and that's going to give you x equals negative 25. And did we get the same answer? Yay, we did. So now you can go ahead and replace x with what it is and find all these variables, and that's going to give you the answer. Hopefully you don't mind if I find don't find all the solutions because I already did. And this brings us to the end of this video. Well, thanks for watching. I hope you enjoyed it. Please let me know. Don't forget to comment, like, and subscribe. I'll see you tomorrow with another video. Until then, be safe, take care, and bye-bye.